all we have to do is look to markets for an answer on what the market's expectation is, whether that's on inflation, whether that's on volatility of different equity markets around the world, volatility of fixed income, volatility of interest rates. There's all types of markets where real money is traded that tells you something about the expectation of market participants on uh, those measures. But I think what's important about this is that when you think about markets, they're forward-looking. They're taking into account things like volatility, not just of the market themselves, but of bonds, of inflation, of commodity prices. All of that information is built in uh, to the prices that you're paying for both stocks and bonds. And uh, what it does is it tries to keep those expected returns positive, so that it's expected that stocks will outperform bonds, that lower credit quality bonds will outperform higher credit quality bonds, uh, and that in general people are signing up for positive expected returns when they invest at any point in time.